Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is an affordable get ready with me and we're gonna be creating a really pretty rose gold makeup look using the brand new Kathleen Lights ColourPop Dream Street eyeshadow palette. So let's jump into it. First, I'm prepping my skin using the NYX Shine Killer Primer. This one's kind of like, eh, I don't think it's the most amazing thing in the world, but I also don't hate it. So um, yeah, let leave it with me and I will keep testing. Next up, I'm using the Maybelline Super Stay Full Coverage Foundation. You guys know I'm absolutely obsessed with this stuff, honestly in my opinion, the best drugstore primer available at the minute. I've done several review videos on it, so I will link them down below for you. Next up, I'm gonna be filling in my brows. This is the L'Oreal Brow Artist. This is like a, it's like a powder and a wax in like a little duo pan. Absolutely love this stuff. It lasts all day, it's easy to apply and it's cool toned, which is kind of hard to find. I really struggle with like finding really good cool tone eyebrow powders. Love this one. And then I'm gonna go ahead and just make them look a little bit more full with this L'Oreal brow gel. This is a tinted brow gel with fibers in it to help thicken up and sort of fill in the brows. I don't have the most amazing thick bushy brows. Okay, okay. <laughs> to prime my lids, I'm using the NYX Full Coverage Concealer. I'm not too sure how I feel about this one yet. Um, again, leave it with me, I'm going to keep testing it. I did have a bit of trouble applying it under my eyes. I felt like it kind of looked creasy and like texture, but yeah, we'll see how we go. And now for the exciting part. Oh my goodness, you guys wanted to know my thoughts on this palette. Well, I absolutely freaking love it. In this tutorial, this was the first time I had actually worn it. I'm shook. Like this is one of the best eyeshadow palettes I've ever used and it is affordable. So first up, I'm taking Stardust, which is this matte orangey transition shade. And on a large fluffy blending brush, I'm going to be working this one backwards and forwards through the crease. I did actually apply it very lightly to begin with. And then I dipped back into the palette and continued to blend it through the crease to sort of deepen up that color and make it a little bit more intense. It's honestly the most perfect transition shade ever. I am obsessed. <laughs> I'm now going in with Water Bearer, which is this beautiful deep terracotta color. And on a smaller fluffy brush, I'm going to start packing that one into the outer corner and through the lower crease. Pretty much what I do for the next however long is dip into the palette, get a little bit of shadow and buff it through the crease. Then I dip back into the shadow, get a little bit more and continue to buff it through again. Really, really love this color. I think it's really versatile because you can either, you know, blend it through sort of lightly to create a really soft light color or you can pack it on to get full opacity and create like a really beautiful gradient look. So yeah, basically just packing on, building, blending, repeating until I am happy with the color payout. Look Look at that color, like seriously, can we? <laughs> now to create that really rose gold shimmer to the eye look, I'm taking Shooting Star now and oh my gosh, the foils in this palette are absolutely next level. I would seriously think that this was a ridiculously expensive high-end palette if I didn't know exactly like that it was ColourPop. Like this stuff is legit, so pigmented, they pack on beautifully, they are so easy to use, I'm obsessed. For the brow bone, I'm using Elfish, which is like a soft kind of pinky shimmery kind of color. And then on the inner corners of my eyes, I'm gonna be using Mermaid Bay, which is this beautiful kind of duochrome color. It's like a pearlescent sort of shade with like a green shift. Oh, Kathleen and ColourPop, you guys, you did me dirty. Like seriously, what? I've just got no words for this palette. It's that freaking good. <laughs> then through the lower lash line, I'm smudging that lighter orangey transition shade that we started with. And then I'm gonna build up that color with a little bit of that sort of deep terracotta color that we used through the lid and the outer crease just to kind of smoke all of it up. Now, moving on to eyeliner. Again, as I always say, it's completely optional. You can do a wing, you can do no wing, or you can do no eyeliner. It's completely up to you. I tend to be a little extra and always go for a wing, but yeah, it's completely customizable depending on what you want to do. I always pull the funniest faces when I apply eyeliner. You're so lucky that you can't see my mouth right now. Like honestly, you would judge me hard. <laughs> Then going in and going to apply a couple of coats of mascara. This is the Essence Lash Princess Mascara. It's cheap, it makes your lashes look really nice and full and it doesn't transfer, so it's a win for me. I mean, anything that's cheap really, I'm like, oh yes please, give it to me. <laughs> and then the lashes that I'm using today are the Nikia Joy Cosmetics Gabriella Lash. These are launching so soon, you guys. I'm that crazy freaking excited. These are the luxury 3D silk lashes. So yeah, watch this space. You'll be hearing and seeing a lot more about these soon. They're very, very fluffy and comfortable to wear. 
Now, going back in with that NYX concealer, this full coverage concealer. Now, I mentioned earlier I didn't really have the best luck in the world with this. Like I said, I will continue to test it. Um, if you've got it and love it, can you please let me know exactly how you use it to get it to work? Because I just feel like it made my under eyes look kind of textured and it made the skin look kind of papery. So yeah, so far not loving, but let me know. <laughs> And then to set all that in place, I'm using the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. I have been just loving this powder over the last month. I rediscovered it when we moved house and it's basically just not left my side since. <laughs> so yeah, just on that same um, tapered Kabuki brush, I'm just blending, well actually not blending, I'm pushing that into the skin to get a really smooth sort of poreless look. For bronzer, I'm using the NYX Matte Bronzer. This is another one that I rediscovered. I used to be head over heels in love with it. Turns out I still am. I just, well, I smashed mine and then I couldn't find another one. Well, I had one stashed in my collection. So we have been reunited. We are back. We've made up, okay? We're back. They're just so smooth and so buttery and pigmented and easy to blend. They look gorgeous on every skin tone. They come in like six different colors. They are freaking good, okay? I ain't got nothing else to say. They are good. And then on my cheeks, I'm using my current favorite cheek combination. So these are two ColourPop Super Shock cheek products. This one here is the blush. It's called Drop of a Hat. It's a really beautiful terracotta kind of color with a gold shift through. It looks really, really natural and radiant. You can hardly even tell. You know, like it doesn't look like you've applied a blush. It just looks like beautiful and you look like a beach babe. I'm just into it, okay? Don't touch me. <laughs> and then the highlighter is Lunch Money. And you can tell from that reaction, oh my God, titties are shook. <laughs> Looks amazing on the skin and it doesn't emphasize my enlarged pores and texture. So I am down for that. Moving on to the lips now. I wanted to keep things in the same kind of family as the eyes. So I wanted to go for that like really terracotta kind of rose gold kind of vibe. So I'm first lining my lips in this NYX lip liner. This is one of their suede matte liners in the color Stockholm. And then I'm taking this uh, ColourPop X Kathleen Lights. Man, they did well in this collection. This is one of their ultra satin lip creams and it is in the shade Dreamy and it is dreamy. I love the way this lip perfectly matches the eyes and ties it all in together. So you guys wanted to know my thoughts on the ColourPop Kathleen Lights eyeshadow palette. You need it. In fact, you needed it yesterday, so go and buy it. <laughs> I love you all so much. I hope that you enjoyed today's affordable tutorial and I will talk to you guys in the next one. Bye.